Why should we be surprised when even Satan himself poses as an angel of light and his real ministers pose as false ministers and his real, and then the, and the real, oh goodness, I'm, and his false ministers pose as real ministers and his false apostles pose as real apostles. Why should it be a strange thing that a false people would pose as the real people? Woo! You see, my goodness, in Israel today, there are Orthodox Jews in Israel today. They have the long beards. They are Ashkenazi. They're European. They're white Jews. But let me tell you, they know the history that I'm telling you about. And they are against what the Jews are doing in Israel to this day. And they're saying, we're here, but we don't belong here. We're killing, but we shouldn't be killing. We have no legitimate right to be here. Why do you think all this is going on in Israel? Why do you think it's a trembling cup among the nations? Listen to me. If the real people had the land, it wouldn't be all of this. <laughs> Listen to me. We've shown you biblically from Revelations. We've shown you geographically. We've shown you historically. We've shown you scientifically. We've shown you through their own Jewish literature. You see, the current Jews today are not the Israelites of the Bible. They are not. They are not. You know? And next week, I'm going to come and I'm going to show you some other reasons why they are not. I'm just giving you the evidence, the, 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 the obvious evidence. We're going to get deeper next week. But the upper echelons of government and of society, they know this, Minister Doug. They've been knowing this. This is just one of the hidden secrets that the elite and the powerful know that they don't tell the regular sheep. They hide the truth in plain sight. But we can't see because we distract. And I've read many, and I'm talking about black scholars, white scholars, Arab, Indian. When you do your research after this Sunday, you're going to see a plethora of all nationalities coming out and saying, these are not the real Jews. It's not about color. It's not about color. But one thing I do not hear is when all of the different nationalities come together and say these are not the real Jews, no one ever asked the question, then who are? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> My God! Well, I'm so happy you asked me. Yes. Second point, the children of the prophets. I'm remaining true. I'm remaining true, hallelujah, to my text. I'm remaining true. Peter says, ye are the children of the prophets, and that's what we're discussing. Who are the children of the prophets? Who are they? You see? I told the leaders as we met with this, as we cried over it, I said, listen, I'm going to have to tell Philly. It's coming up in the text. How do we do this? How do we know this and not think about the dangers? Think about But old pastor, some of them encourage. You don't know what this information going to do. Huh, Cole? In the barber shop, you don't know what this information going to do. Who are the children of the prophets? Listen, 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 listen. To find out the truth, we must turn to our Bibles for the answer. You understand what I'm saying? You got to turn to your Bible for the answer. I'm going to deal with one element of who the true people are. 
But there are other groups that will qualify to being in this group. Some of our brothers and sisters from different parts of the world will qualify to be in this group that's called the real Hebrew people. It has not been limited to one group like it used to be. But I'm going to show you how it started. And you will find that the most downtrodden people, the most last people, are really the people that are first. You will find that the people who have been, hallelujah, most disenfranchised. Hey, God, if you hear me up in here. Woo! And I got books on every angle of it. I got maps all over the house. Mr. Duck said he ain't lying. <laughs> I'm all in maps from the 1700s tree. I'm not all in the stuff that they don't already got their hands on. You're going to find as we go through this, the victor controls history. And they're going to only teach in history what they want you to know. You understand what I'm saying? All right? So your child sitting in there learning everything but the truth. How many people like where we're going so far? Y'all like where we're riding so far? Hallelujah! All right. The first thing we notice when we talk about the true Hebrews, the true Israelites, is that they were often mistaken as Egyptians. They were often mistaken as Egyptians. We just go into the book. And remember, we're going to talk about how they started off and then eventually, hopefully, in the next few lessons, amen, we're going to talk about how it branched off and it migrated. All right, but let's, let's stay where we are. Let's stay where we are. They were most often mistaken as Egyptians. In Genesis 42, 8, these are scriptures that we know. Joseph is sold into slavery. You see? His brothers sold him out. But when they got hungry, there was only one place they can get food, Egypt. When they got there, they walked in front of a man. A man that looked like all the other men. And because he looked like all the other men, they couldn't tell that he was really their brother because he had looked like all the other men. Listen, if this man would look like the Ashkenazis of today, he would have been, I'm talking about like a sore thumb sticking out in Egypt. And I'm going to show you in a second what Egypt really looked like. But he'd have been just like a sore thumb. He'd have been like, hallelujah, George Bush and the projects. You understand what I'm saying? And his brothers would have walked up to him and said, Joseph, what's that on your head? But Father Lord, they couldn't tell it was him because he had looked like all the other Egyptians. So... In 42.8, and Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew him not. Let me give you another one. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 19, the devil is a liar. Oh, yeah, is he lying? It's all, it's all good. It, listen, it could turn off. <laughs> I, I, it, it could go, we going, baby. Exodus, I've been holding on this for too long. Exodus 2.19, guess who else was mistaken as an Egyptian? A man by the name of Moses. Now Moses runs, amen, to Midian after he murders the Egyptian. And Moses is on the run and he meets his future wife, his wife-to-be. And they're being harassed by some shepherds. And Moses, listen, this brother here, he come out there, man, and he chased all the shepherds away, and now his wife-to-be, they're able to water their flocks and get back early, and Jethro saying, man, y'all back early. How in the world y'all got back early? Because I know how them knuckleheads give y'all a hard time, make y'all go last. Look what his wife-to-be, look what they say. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds 
and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. And that's why we back early. Listen, when she looked at Moses, she didn't, she didn't look at Moses and see a Greek. She looked at Moses and says, an Egyptian. The original Hebrews were always mistaken with Egyptians. G Money, you hear me up in here? Let's go to the New Testament. In Acts 21, 37, Paul. The Bible says, and Paul was to be led into the barracks. He said unto the chief captain, may I speak unto you? Who said, can you speak Greek? It was a big ruckus, a riot going on. They wanted to kill Paul. Them Hebrews wanted to split Paul's head. Split his wig, like we say. And, and, and they were trying to get at him and everything like that. And so the, the Romans came in and they grabbed Paul and they said, listen, we got to stop this riot. So they grabbed Paul. And so Paul, being multilingual like he was, a very educated man, Paul begins to speak Greek. And so the Roman chief look upon him and say, can you speak Greek? Now, if he looked Greek, they would have never asked him if he could speak Greek. That's like you being in China, big brother. And I, I mean big brother. You understand what I'm saying? Big old brother. And you out there in China, and, and you start, you know what I'm saying? The people going to look at they're going to say, can you speak Chinese? Why? Because you don't look like. You would speak Chinese. You, you're not of Chinese nationality. You're not of the race. So, so listen, Paul didn't look Greek. He didn't look Greek. So how in the world can you speak Greek if you don't look Greek? Well, who did you think I was in verse 38? Are you not that E? Are oh, you not that Egyptian? Who before these days made an uproar? Listen. I know you're not Greek because I can tell by the color of your skin. But guess what else? Are you that Egyptian? The early Hebrews were always mistaken with the Egyptians. Okay, pastor, we get it. We get it. The Hebrews look like the Egyptians. Well, how did the Egyptians look, pastor? Because we see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 a different look of the Egyptians on TV. Yeah. 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 But that's all part of the plan. It's all part of the cover. up Let me show you some Egyptian artifacts from Egypt. This is King Tut. Now we got a few brothers in here that's that dog. Can I get an amen? amen? This is Egypt. Now listen, listen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell. You, and it's all right. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you why this is Egypt. In case you didn't know, it's in Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know that? Af Say it with me. Africa. Now some of y'all looking at Egypt right now, and you're saying, "Well, it's full of Arabs right now." It's full of Arabs right now. So how can you say Egypt is black? It was full of Arabs right now. The same way you could look at America and be able to say that America was Indian at one time, Native Indians, but it ain't Native Indians no more because of conquest, because of conquest, because of the spread of, of Islam. But don't you know they still got black Egyptians to this day? To this day, when you go back to the artifacts, Egypt is black. Let me show you another. That's King Tut. Look, look at that. Look at them extensions. You see that? Y'all think y'all invented weave. Y'all just getting back to, y'all just getting back. Y'all just, y'all just getting back. Y'all just going back. He taking us back. Now, listen, if you're another group of people, hold your horses, baby. The story is so good because it's his story and his people's story. The story is so good. Just hold your horses. 
Let me deal with weed for a second. Look, 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 look at these brothers and sisters. 